Howdy there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today and we're in the kitchen and we're getting ready to make Bobby's manly meatloaf. Stay tuned. Now for the ingredients friends. First of all we got a pound and a half of ground hamburger meat here. We've got a half a pound of uh, Nisa's country sausage, the hot kind. Uh, we've got some bacon that we've already cooked up in our bar pan. We've got a whole onion We've got a whole bell pepper, and we got two, three, four cloves of uh, garlic here. We're going to chop all those up in our uh, uh, food chopper, laying right here. We've got a couple eggs. We're going to scramble them up, uh, add that to it, and we've got breadcrumbs and milk. Uh, we're probably going to use about a cup and a half, maybe two cups of uh, breadcrumbs, and same thing on milk, cup and a half, two cups of that. Uh, we're going to take all of that. We're going to mix it up in this uh, mixing bowl right here okay and then we're going to put it in our deep covered baker and we'll show you that in a little bit um, now we got uh, ketchup mustard and brown sugar we're going to take these three items and we're going to mix them up and make a glaze that we're actually going to pour on top when we stick it in the oven and let that cook on top the whole time toward the end we've got a can of diced tomatoes here and we're going to add those, add those on there toward the end and let them cook and we might add some cheddar cheese also alright folks so there's all your ingredients let me get busy chopping and mixing and we'll see you in just a little bit hey there friends we got uh, got all our uh, vegetables here chopped up as you can see you know man they look good don't they and that was easy with that chopper and now what I've done is I took the uh, sausage I went ahead and put it in my mixing bowl first I want to break it up a little bit so we'll break that up just a little bit. Now let's go ahead and add in our hamburger meat, pound and a half of hamburger meat. Let's throw it in here. Let's just start taking a regular old metal spatula. And we're just going to go ahead and bust all this up together. And uh, so that's what we're doing here. So we're going to bust all this up, mix it up. I'm going to get my hands in here in a little bit. I want to make sure I wash them first. So we want to just go ahead and kind of bust everything up with the spatula. Now, we got our two eggs right here. Let's go ahead and pour that in. Pour that mixture in there. Let's go ahead and pour all of our vegetables in there. We'll go ahead and just start mixing all that around. Now we're going to take our bacon. I'm going to keep one out toward the side because I love me some bacon. i got to eat eat just one piece. I can't just let it, I can't let it all go in there, you know. So let's just break up some of this bacon. We're going to throw it in here. And uh, let's break it up in little small pieces. It'll be fine. And then it'll get kind of distributed around there so every, every piece should have a little slice of bacon in it. So that's what we're doing here. And we're going to save that one here. We're going to eat it in just a minute. Now, we got our mixing cup. Let's go ahead and pour out a... We ain't got to be perfect here. Well, that's a cup. That's a heaping cup of breadcrumbs. Let's go ahead and put at least a half a cup, maybe a little bit more. Let's do that. Let's pour that in there. Let's get our milk here. We're going to go ahead and pour, pour in a cup of milk. Right there, like so. We're going to put another half cup in. Or maybe a little more. It don't matter. Alright friends, we're going to wash our hands and we're going to mix all this stuff up and get it ready to put it in the deep cover baker. Alright. We've got our deep cover baker right here. We're going to take a little bit of uh, cooking spray here. We're just going to shoot just a little bit on here. I don't think it's really going to need it. Because there's a lot of fat and all that meat there but here we go we got our mixture right here this is all our stuff mixed up together we got it mixed up really good let's just start getting it in the pan put it in the in the cooker so let's get it all in here real good so there we go we got it in there now just take your hands i've already washed my hands they're nice and clean don't worry folks i'm going to take your hands i'm going to smash it on in there get it all in there good just like so. 
even it around, make it nice and flat on top. Just kind of work with it a little bit. Boy, it fills up. That's a good, good, good amount. It's gonna fill up this big baker. That's good. We're gonna eat off of this for several days. We might even freeze a little bit. So anytime you need a good old slab of meat, you go ahead and you just go ahead and pull it out of the freezer, heat it up, and you got you something, got you some meat to go along with your supper or your lunch or anything like that. So that's what we're gonna do. Alright, we got it in there. Now, check this out. This is our mixture of mustard, ketchup, and brown sugar, okay? And we've done about one part of each one, okay? So we're gonna spread that on there, just like so. Pour it right on top. Just pour it all right there on top. All right. Man, that looks good. You know it's gonna taste good. It's gotta taste good. It's got all this good stuff in it. Just take it and kind of spread it out a little bit. All over the top here. All right, hey, we're ready to go in the oven. Um, pulled it out. Now it's time to go ahead, like I was telling you earlier, we're going to put these uh, tomatoes on top. We're going to throw some tomatoes on top. And we're going to put some cheese on top too. So we're not probably not going to put this whole can on here. We're going to just kind of spread them out a little bit. Kind of let them sit there in our nice sauce. Our mustard and ketchup and, and uh, brown sugar sauce on top. All right, so that's pretty good. That's about half the can right there. I think I'm okay with that. Now, let's go ahead and take us some cheddar cheese. Sharp cheddar cheese. Let's throw that on top. Spread that out just a little bit. On top here, best we can. And we're going to stick them back in the oven. And when we pull them out next time, folks, we're going to be ready to eat. I'm getting hungry. All right now, it's done. It's on the table. That's Bobby's manly meatloaf. We done scooped us out some here. Got it on the plate. Got some sugar peas on the plate. Check it out, folks. We're getting ready to eat. We're getting ready to eat now. We're hungry. Mmm. Boy, that is some good eating. I tell you what. Man, that is really good. Still hot up. Mmm, my goodness. I believe I have outdone myself this time, folks. You know, a couple months ago, I couldn't even spell cook, and now I is one. Folks, thanks for watching the video, and if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I need some more subscribers. We're going to be breaking a whole lot of videos this upcoming year. We're going to have cooking videos, roofing videos, working on cars videos welding videos so come on subscribe tell a friend about it we'll talk to you later take care and god bless